Yo, it's your boy Ryan, Northwest Sports Fanatics. Back at you with a new video. Today's next reaction video is going to be the Detroit Lions versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The game last night, a lot on the line. The Detroit Lions are much improved, and the Kansas City Chiefs don't have Travis Kelsey or Chris Jones. Who, Chris Jones? Let's hop into the reaction video. I can't wait. Let's get it. So let me go here. All right, baby. And then we got to close this down. Okay, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. First one of the year in the regular season. Can't wait. Let's just jump right into it. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Shotgun set. Here's Goff. They're down in seven. Starts coming. Goff and Goff sets. Rolling around. Ooh, caught. But just short. And obviously kind of a weird highlight for them to start off with the package. Uh, and anyone that ended up seeing any of this game last night kind of saw a little bit different feel from the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, without Travis Kelsey in the game, you're going to have to find other people to step up and make big plays. And I think it kind of shows you Travis Kelsey and Chris Jones are irreplaceable. There's other guys that could come in and help them, but it's not the same type of team or vibe. And the crowd, with, you know, with the chop, you used to hear it pretty often throughout the games in Kansas City. Last night, you only really heard it in the beginning of the game and then sporadically throughout the game. Let's get back into the highlight package and see what we get next. Let's get it. All right. Oh, with a fake. This is what I'm talking about. And, you know, when you end up having moxie and you have balls to be able to go for a fake like that, incredible. First down, Lions move the chains. I mean, how many people would go for a fake punt on their own 10? Not many. Little play action fake. There we go. Move the chains. Go, go, go. First down, Lions. Here we go. Hand off. Gibbs. Okay. Rumbling and a bumbling. First down, Lions. There we go, Montgomery. And obviously, as you know, in fantasy football, a lot of people pick Gibbs early, maybe like in the third or fourth round. But Montgomery was starting to get a lot of the touches kind of early on. It's going to be a one nice one-two punch, a thunder and lightning from Montgomery and Gibbs when it was Swift and obviously Jamal Williams, who are now on the Eagles and the Saints. I like what I'm seeing so far. But, I mean, can we get a little bit of kudos to the head ball coach? You know, can we get a little bit of kudos there for the Lions on being able to go for it on that, obviously, fourth and down with a punt? Fake punt on the 10. Unbelievable. Let's go. Bite those kneecaps off. I see you, Dan Campbell. Goff. Here we go. Touchdown, Lions. Let's go, baby. And there's a reason why I drafted Amon Ross St. Brown, number two overall after Jay Jetta, because I already knew that he was going to be up and coming and he was going to be the man, just like Garrett Wilson. Touchdown, Lions. Hashtag one pride. You're not going to be able to stop this duo of Goff and Amon Ross St. Brown and the Goff fence. It ain't happening. Not this year. This is a new Detroit Lion team, a new vibe, and a new year. And this might be year one of maybe a three or four year stretch where they're very good. And don't be surprised if they win the division or get second place in the division within three years. Hell, it could be this year. Mahomes, there we go. First down, Chiefs. Smooth the chains. Third down and six. Mahomes looking for all his Mahomies. Run it. Go, go, go. There we go. All right, we're in the second quarter now. 7-0 Lions. Mahomes. Flick of the wrist. All right, MVS. Move the chains. Second down and 10. Mahomes. Looking, looking, avoids the sack lunch. Steps up in the pocket. Go, go, go. And I got Mahomes in fantasy as well. So, obviously, I had Amon Ra and Montgomery and Laporta and Amon Ra St. Brown, but I was only playing Mahomes and Amon Ra. There we go. Pacheco, baby. Here we go. Mahomes looking, looking. Plenty of time in the pocket. Found an open man. Touchdown, Chiefs. Not the receiver or, uh, you know, Target that you would expect to be able to get the ball in Rice, but hey, someone's got to step up after Travis Kelsey being out, right? Good protection up front by the Chiefs. I see you.
So obviously at that point now, the game is 7-7. It's a little bit uh, lower scoring than for most people's liking, but I love it. I love a defensive type of game, and honestly, the flow of the game seemed like it could end up being one of the best opening kickoff games in the last 20 years. So far, 7-7, you're, you're definitely seeing a, you know a kind of a battle in the trenches, but I like what I see. The Chiefs definitely don't look as good on offense without Kelsey. That's a no-brainer. But Jared Goff in the golf offense, as well as the Detroit Lions defense, is playing better than anticipated in game one. Let's go. All right, Goff. Little check down. Right with the catch. That's not Laporta. Come on now. Second down and seven. Little play action fake. Steps up in the pocket. Goff. Keeping his eyes downfield. First down, Lions. Move the chains. Goff. There we go. There's my guy, Sam Laporta. Picked him up there on the wire. Could be very, very special for them, just like Higby uh, obviously was for the Rams and when Jared Goff back in the day. Uh-oh. Bobbled snap. Fall on it. <laughs> Good thing they didn't cough it up there. All right. Third down and 10. Big third down. Screen pass. Oh, fumble. <laughs> Brian Cook with the recovery. He coughed it up. Not a good sign. Mahomes on third down. Floater. And complete. All right, less than th about three minutes to go. Still knotted up at seven. It's a defensive battle. Oh, it's 12 noon. You know what time it is. It's time for a chief sack lunch. Yum, 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 yum. Shotgun set. All right, Mahomes, your turn. Steps up in the pocket. There we go. That's the Mahomes I know. First down, Chiefs. Move the chains. Rice becoming an option early and often. Third down and 17. Lions. Oh, wow. That was a beautiful throw, beautiful catch to give them a little bit more momentum as we're going into, obviously, halftime. The score is much lower than anticipated, but the Lions, they're right there. Hashtag one pride. Obviously, they're taking advantage of no Kelsey and Chris Jones, but the defense for Kansas City is still playing pretty well. Lions defense is better than anticipated. They're flying around, and I like what I see. Let's get into the highlight package and see what happens next. Let's go. Let's go. And obviously, I would have loved to have Chris Jones and Travis Kelsey playing in this game, but you knew it was going to make this game a little bit more even. Mahomes, shotgun set. 40 seconds left. Wide open. There we go. Watson with the catch. I see you, Justin. First and goal. Good protection. Sidearm slinger. Threading the needle. Blake Bell. Touchdown, Chiefs. Chiefs kingdom, stand up. Get loud. Come on now. I mean, and he was wide open. I mean, they were playing a zone coverage right there. 34 was way out of position. 14-7 Chiefs. All right, here we go. 22 seconds left. Goff. There we go. Let's see if they can get him in a field goal range. Recently, and for no Ryan Reynolds, this is not the NFL. Come on, brother. Wireless companies are Ant Mobile. He says, buy this shit. All right, here we go. Three seconds left. Shotgun set. Fourth down and 10. Goff. Out of bounds. At least he didn't throw a pick there. All right, we're now into the third quarter. Mahomes, pass incomplete. And obviously, if we uh, ended up watching, you know, the first half, uh, a little underwhelming on the Chiefs side, but they still have that seven-point lead. They are at home. With the Lions, you have to be impressed. Montgomery, Gibbs, Amon Ross St. Brown, Marvin Jones, even though there was a, you know, a fumble, you know, at some point there in that first half, right? Laporta is starting to make a name for himself as well from the second round pick from Iowa. So the thing, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Aiden Hutchinson, you see a different type of swagger with the Lion defense. And obviously at this point in the game, you know, you got to be able to make a big play. Right. You got to be able to come up with a pick six, a fumble, you know, recovery for a touchdown, a, a fucking punt return for a touchdown, a kick return for a touchdown. At some point, you know, you're going to have to be able to make that big play to tie it up. Let's get back into the highlight package. On Tuesday. So this is Shotgun set. Mahomes. Oh. Branch, the rookie, one handed tip to himself. Touchdown. 
Browns, Lions. How often is Mahomes going to have a pick six, like maybe twice in a season? And you don't want it on game one. And Kadarius Tony, you got hands that are rocks, my guy. What happened to my hands? You might as well put butterfingers on every finger that you got, including your thumb. You're terrible. That's what happens when you talk shit to the Giants fans for no reason. All right? Mahomes steps up in the pocket. Order. And complete. And with Mike Evans with the contract dispute and, and whatnot, it kind of makes you kind of wonder. Nice pass, right? Maybe DeAndre Hopkins should have been picked up by the Kansas City Chiefs instead of going to the Titans. Niners turned him down. Chiefs turned him down. Ooh, Laporta, first down. Lions, flag on the play. Because obviously they need some help. Uh-oh, what happened to my hands? Second down and seven. Mahomes. We're tied up at 14. Is he a little bit rattled after that pick six? A, a little bit. Big hit there in the back. Four minutes left. Mahomes got plenty of time in the pocket. Little floater to Pacheco. Go, go. Hit him with a spin move. There we go. First down and 10. They're driving. Mahomes under center. Play action fake. He's going long. He's going deep. He's got a man. What happened to my hands? But there is a flag. Pass interference. That one, definitely. That's a felony in all 50 states. Shotgun set. Play action fake. Mahomes gets out of the pocket. Might have been a little bit of a hold there. A little dump down. Blake Bell. I mean, you got Noah Gray and Blake Bell, but that ain't, that ain't Travis Kelsey, though. Third down and two. Shotgun set. Mahomes. All right, hold up. Before we get into that field goal, you got to be able to, you know, figure out who's going to be able to step up if Travis Kelsey isn't playing. And I, I know you got Pacheco and you got McKinnon and you should be going to those guys. But one thing that's very glaring besides the Travis Kelsey, as well as the Chris Jones, you know, departure and not being there, one that's injured and one that's in a contract dispute is Eric Bieniemy and the play calling and giving his input with Andy Reid. It just doesn't feel like it's the same kind of team, but also Sky Moore, Kadarius Tony, all these other receivers, MVS, you need to step up. And they're probably wondering, damn, we should have probably signed DeAndre Hopkins. But the thing that you really should have signed, or maybe should I say, and re-clarify, re-sign Juju Smith Schuster should still be in Kansas City, not in New England. And if you had him, maybe the score is a little bit different. And Kadarius Tony, you don't even deserve to be on this team. You are garbage, hot garbage. Go to the field goal attempt by Harrison Butker. Massive field goal attempt is up, and it's good. And that's one thing that at least they have consistency with is Harrison Butker. 17-14. Chiefs. Less than two minutes to go. Goff in that Goff offense. I mean, it kind of feels like, you know, when he was on the Rams, there's this swagger and confidence. Instead of Cooper Cup, it's Amon Ross St. Brown and company. There we go. And Higby will be replaced by Sam Laporta on this team. I like it. I really do. Swaggy uniform, swaggy helmet. And then they got Dan Campbell, who's my favorite coach in the league, not named, Kyle Shanahan. There we go. There we go. Go, go, Bell, go. Blockers downfield. First down, Chiefs. My favorite two coaches in the league, Kyle Shanahan for his brain and his play calling, and Dan Campbell because he's the realest motherfucker on planet Earth. Let's go. Mahomes, go. Nice slide. Safe. Third down and two. We're in the fourth quarter. Chiefs are a little nervous. They're only up by three. Here we go, Mahomes. Plenty of time. Someone's grabbing his shoe. Get rid of it. Jarek McKinnon, Kadarius, Tony, Sky Moore. Come on. Somebody catch the damn ball for Mahomes. 17-14. Butker with another field goal attempt. Kick is up. Right down the middle, Mr. Consistency, and it's good. 2014, but you need to be putting up touchdowns on the Lions, not field goals. Let's go. Goff and the Goff Nets. First down, Lions. Move the chains. I'm telling you, you got Amon St. Brown. You got Josh Reynolds, the former Ram. So Goff is comfortable with him, right? And then you got Marvin Jones. And then you got Laporta. I mean, you got a squad here on top of David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. Oh, my goodness. With a good offensive line with Ragnow and company and Penny Sewell for my Ducks. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Fourth quarter, eight minutes to go. Play action fake. Goff looking. And anyone that thinks that Goff isn't that good of a quarterback, go, go, go. Look at these throws. First down, Lions. Josh Reynolds, baby. 
one on one. He said, Legarius Sneed or whoever you are, I'm going to get past you. No problem. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I burnt you on that route. See you later. See you later. Turn it on the burners. Man in motion. Play action fake. Nope. It's a handoff. That's what it is. Montgomery touchdown. Lions. And there is a reason that I got Sam Laporta, Montgomery, and Amon Ross St. Brown. Normally, I would never have three players from one team in fantasy, but I believe in this team, and they're for real. 21-20, Lions. Let's go. Uh-oh, third and one. That line defense, I'm telling you, they, they're feeding off of Dan Campbell and Aiden Hutchinson and obviously uh, Gardner Johnson in that swagger. Shotgun set, handoff. Gibbs. Uh-oh. He's slippery and he's strong. There we go. Nice run. Because to me, Goff, right, is right there with like Kirk Cousins and Carr, where they get criticized a lot. But I love all three of those QBs. Batted down on fourth down and two. That was a very critical decision. And uh let's be honest. Most of the time, I'm going to criticize and say, what the hell are you doing going for it on fourth down and two? But this is the Detroit Lions. They haven't been good in a long, long time. They haven't won a playoff game in a long, long time, like 20 years, kind of like my Seattle Mariners. So sometimes when you go for a fake punt, you know, I'll take that with this team and Dan Campbell. Sometimes you go for it on fourth down. I'm like, no, no, punt. But this was the right call in the right situation to take a gamble. What do you have to lose, right? And if you end up winning this game, you can end up starting off 1-0 and and obviously have some swagger built forward. But, hey, a tough one. Most of the time, I'd say, what the hell are you doing? But that call, I was actually okay with it. First down and 10. Mahomes. Flick of the wrist. And with Kadarius Tony right there, if you end up making that play, right, the Chiefs win the game. If you end up making that play and you end up making that first down and with all of these drops by Kadarius Tony, honestly, if Kadarius Tony ends up making all of his catches, probably the Chiefs win this game 100%. But since he doesn't make any of the catches, the frustration starts to build up. And, uh, you know, if you can't get a third down conversion either in the third quarter, fourth quarter, and second half, what do you think is going to happen to the Chiefs? Big facts. 21-20, less than 2.30 to go. Mahomes, flag on the play. First down, Chiefs. But then the Sky Moore, you know, obviously catch was good, but you have a hold on the O-line. Brutal. Donovan Smith, former Buccaneer. What the fuck are you doing, idiot? Second down and 20. Mahomes. Another drop. Another drop. Sky Moore, Kadarius Tony. Everyone's dropping. Juju Smith-Schuster. Come back. Mahomes. Overthrown. Overthrown. All right, here we go. Fourth down and 20. False start. Everything collapsing right in front of their very eyes. And that's what happens. You know, when you're not playing well, the crowd's not into the game. You know, you start making mental errors right there. Fourth and 25. It's going to take a miracle now. Mahomes steps up in the pocket against his Lion. Good defense. Throws up a 500 ball. Incomplete. Incomplete. Sky Moore went up for it. Neither got it. They just have not made their typical plays. All right, here we go, Lions. Time to win the game. Hand the ball off. And what are you going to do? You're going to hand it off to Montgomery because he's your bell cow. Better than Audrey uh, Swift when he's healthy, in my opinion. He's a little bit more consistent. There we go. Montgomery's a beast. I mean, I picked him in fantasy for my bench for a reason. Third down and 12. And there it is. The kneel down. What a miraculous win for that man right there, Dan Campbell. I, I don't think people realize, you know, he might be the realest guy in football. There's a, a lot of coaches that are out there, but not a lot of coaches that are willing to do sit-ups and push-ups and run drills with players. And when you end up doing that, right, they end up riding or dying for you for life. And this team has a new swagger, a new vibe, and they finally got the right players with the right attitude and they bought in. Uh, pretty amazing story with the Detroit Lions now being 1-0. Unbelievable. Final score, Lions 21, Chiefs 20. The Chiefs will be okay. Got to get Chris Jones in the building, get that man paid, and Travis Kelsey hopefully will be back week two, but it's not going to be easy. They play the Jags. They could easily drop to 0-2. Still think the Chiefs will make the playoffs, but it shows you. You need depth at receiver. You don't got it. You need Travis Kelsey and obviously him to be that lead guy as well as getting pressure up front with Chris Jones. Who? Chris Jones. Final score, Lions 21, 
Chiefs 20. Comment below on the reaction video and what you thought about it. And I'll be back with you very shortly, maybe tomorrow with another one. Gang.